Hi and welcome to Watch and Work. Watch and Work is Contitech's series of service videos for automotive mechanics. My name is Stefan Meyer, and in each video I'll show you a different vehicle engine. Follow me. The videos are aimed at professional mechanics, not DIY car enthusiasts. We have a 110 kilowatt 2 liter common rail engine from 2015 VW Jetta with the engine code CUUB. For this engine, you need our CT1168 WP1 timing belt kit with water pump. Here you can see the kit's contents and the tools required. First you have to set TDC at cylinder 1. To do this you must start by removing the top timing belt guard. We have three marks that all have to be set correctly. First we have the letters OT, the German abbreviation for top dead center, down here on the belt guard behind the crankshaft belt pulley. And we have a position that must be set on the camshaft and another on the high pressure fuel pump. Once you have set TDC at the crankshaft, these two marks on the camshaft sprocket and the high pressure fuel pump sprocket should align, allowing us to insert these locking tools there. Now you can remove the crankshaft belt pulley and the bottom timing belt guard and secure the crankshaft in place with this locking tool. Take care when positioning the crankshaft tool. Here we have a recess and there is a lobe and the two have to engage with one another. Then it's all anchored in the housing at the back using the pin here. And additionally secured using two bolts from the crankshaft belt pulley. The timing is now set correctly. The next thing to do is loosen this bolt and then the camshaft's central bolt with the help of the counter hold tool, as well as the nut on the high pressure fuel pump using the special holding tool. You now loosen the tensioner pulley's bolt, release the tension in the eccentric cam and remove the timing belt, after which you can replace the components. There are two different models of tensioner pulley that can be included in this kit. This is true of the original VW parts and we do the same. They just differ a little in terms of appearance and fitting. The engine had this pulley installed and we are going to fit the same pulley as it's the model in the new kit. However, the kit may contain a pulley with a different design that looks like this. Installation is also the same as with the old system. You must take care to install it in a specific position. There is a protruding lug here on the tensioner pulley's arm. The lug must be hooked into this notch on the engine here. You must also make sure that the camshaft and high pressure fuel pump sprockets can turn freely. However, the sprockets shouldn't be so loose that they wobble. When adjusting the sprockets, there's one thing you must watch out for. We have a slotted hole here on the camshaft sprocket. The locking tool should be in the center of the slot. Once we've tensioned the timing belt, the tool must not be touching the top edge of the slotted hole. There must be still some clearance. And the same applies to the high pressure fuel pump. Here, once again, we have a certain adjustment range and the sprocket should also be loose. When we've finished, we have to make sure that the marking here is not positioned in the center of the pin, as there would be no room left for downward adjustment. You fit the new timing belt in a clockwise direction, starting at the crankshaft, then passing it around the deflection pulley, the tensioner pulley, the camshaft sprocket, the fuel pump sprocket and finally the water pump sprocket. Now you're probably wondering why it's so important to loosen the camshaft bolt and the nut on the high pressure pump. It's all to do with the tensioner pulley's tensioning process. 
When I tension the tensioner pulley, the belt is pulled back over the pulley, and we get some movement here. Watch the slotted hole here at the top and see how much movement there is during the tensioning process. So, if the bolt and nut on these two shafts weren't loose, the sprocket tools could become jammed during tensioning. You now tension the timing belt by turning the tensioner pulley's eccentric cam clockwise until the pulley's pointer aligns with the center of the marker notch. You then remove the locking tools and tighten both the bolt and nut to 20 Newton meters using the counter holes before turning the engine over for two full revolutions and checking the timing again. You may find that the locking pin for the high pressure fuel pump no longer fits properly. That's okay. What's important is that the camshaft here at the top and the crankshaft still align. Once that has been done, you have to repeat the whole process again by turning the engine over twice and checking everything. If it's all fine, tighten the bolt to its final torque of 100 Newton meters with the help of the counter hold and finish tightening the high pressure fuel pumps nut to a torque of 95 Newton meters. So we are almost done. Now you just have to finish reassembling the engine. Follow the manufacturer's specifications, particularly for the tightening torques. Remember, don't overdo the tightening. Place our part replacement sticker in the engine compartments where it's clearly visible so that the customer sees you have installed quality.